everyone, it is Mona here at Craft Clutch, and today we're going to be making some nail polish washer necklaces. And that either requires a trip to the hardware store or to raid your husband or boyfriend's workshop and find some different sized washers. These are flat washers, flat metal washers. I have three sizes. We're going to make jewelry, and what we're going to do is break out our nail polish. Now you want to start playing and experimenting with whatever colors you want and these are way more than I'm going to actually do but I thought that I would start with this pink and I'm just going to paint it right on here. Make sure I get the edges. I'm working on some wax paper. This would be a fun party activity and everybody would have something to take home at the end of the party because all it does is take the time for the nail polish to dry. Now I'm going to use this frosty blue. And while it's still wet, I'm going to use this pinkish purple. Now this one's pretty transparent. What I'm going to do is take a skewer stick and take some of this yellow. I'm going to just drip it on and let it kind of run together. I'm just experimenting. I have not actually ever done this before. You may love some, you may hate some. All of that is okay. And I think this one's probably dry enough for me to go with another coat. First I'm going to do this green one. Alright, now this black one is dry enough. Let's do with that. I am going to go with this purple glitter. that shows up real nice on the black. Now on this pink one, I'm going to stick with the pink. And this is a very um, transparent kind of a pink with a lot of shimmer in it. So I'm just going to go over it. Now I'm going to move on to a smaller one. And for this, I'm going to use this solid pink that I have. And I'm going to put two coats on this one, and I'm going to put another coat on this green one. And then I have a littler one. I'm going to use this yellow. Now I'm going to take some clear nail polish. Like this one I like. I think this one's done. And I'm going to put just some clear polish over it, give it a little depth, brighten up some of the glitter, let that dry. This one I like as well, so I'm going to put the polish right on it. The nail polish is all dried. This is what I'm left with and now we need to turn these into necklaces and I have a couple different ways of doing it. Now I did do a light coat of nail polish on the back of each of these just so it wouldn't, you know, if it flipped it wouldn't look all plain. You could do another coat. I just did one quick coat. Alright, the first thing I want to show you is I want to do a little bit of stacking. So like this one, I kind of color coordinated with this one so I want to stack that one together and I did just the plain green, the plain pink, and the plain yellow with the intention of stacking these together as well. This one I like just plain. This one I'm gonna do uh, my sister's favorite color is orange and I, want, I have this little bike thing. She likes to ride her bike so I'm gonna create something with that. First off, I have some super glue. You can use any kind of glue that works for you and I'm just gonna put a little bit on bottom here. And I'm using the super glue mainly just because for my purposes this will dry faster. And I'm going to do the same with the yellow. Plop it right down and I will set these aside to dry. Put that aside to dry. Now what I'm going to do with this one is I also at the hardware store bought the 16 gauge galvanized wire and I cut a piece off just like this and I've got my little pliers and I'm going to create kind of a smaller hook here and that's what I have so far. I'm really basically just doing an S hook and I want to see how far down I want it and you could go as high or as low, whatever you want. I think I would like to go a little bit higher. 
just really depends on how tightly you want to hang on here. I'm going to put that through and this little bike thing has like a little hole there so that's perfect to put that through. And then I can kind of figure how far I want to start bending this. So here's that one. It just kind of hangs like that with the orange in the background. I have a couple different kind of cording. I have this um, I have braiding cords and just bamboo cord. So this bamboo cord I'm going to use because of the pastel colors. I'll use it on this one. So I'm going to take a length and you may or may not want these to hang a little bit longer. Like for example here on this one and kind of slip it on hang it and then you can decide how long you want it. And this would be something that would hang a little bit lower. I'm wearing black so this isn't going to show up very well. You know, decide on a length and then just start to tie it. And there's the first one. So it just hangs just like that. And now this one, I'm going to go with the black again. I'm going to tie it real tight. Trim off those ends. You take your knotted end and you go through the front of your piece. And then you go through and then you feed it through this part right here. Pull it up and now you have a pendant that hangs. Okay, I'm going to show you again. You take the knotted portion, go through the front of your washer, come through and feed it through your cord, pull it up tight, and now you have a pendant. Just like that. This one I'm going to do a little bit different. I'm going to make sure that I have the sand dollar facing up then I'm going to come through here, the back, and then feed it through the cord. Okay, and I'm going to try to slowly pull it up, pull it tight, and it hangs like this. It'll move and stuff like that, but it hangs like that, and it's a really nice background. That particular color that particular color is a nice background for the sand dollar and you can adjust it a little bit if you want it a little bit lower you can do that and if you wanted it to stay stationary you could um, glue it but I like that it kind of moves and makes a little bit of noise I'm going to give you a quick rundown of what we have here we've got the stacked one which has a pink cord and I stacked three of the washers on there so that one's cute that's especially cute for spring we've got this one with the dots and this was also, I used a pink string on that one. Here's one that I stacked that did not have coordinating colors. Here's the one where I added the sand dollar. Here is the one with the bicycle. And here is just a glittery one that's plain. So I hope you like them, you guys, and I hope you give it a try. Let me know if you do try it. And thanks for liking the video. Thanks for watching, and I really appreciate it. Happy crafting. We'll see you next time.